intercepts of this function. So this function is a cubic function. It intercepts both x and y axes, so we'll have to do these separately. Let's first of all do what, in my opinion, is the easier one. Let's do the y-intercept. Okay? To locate the y-intercept, the way you locate, or one locates a y-intercept, is to set x equal to 0 because this will figure out where you hit the y-axis because every point on the y-axis has a coordinate x equals 0. Right? Every point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. So if we take this function f of x and we replace x with 0, we'd be calculating f of 0, which would be negative 3 times 0 cubed minus 6 times 0 squared plus 24 times 0. Bunch of zeros in here, right? 0 cubed is 0, negative 3 sets 0, minus 0 plus 0 equals 0. And so our y-intercept would be located at 0 comma 0. Okay, that's the y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, instead of setting the y equal to 0, we set the f of x equal to 0. Sorry, I think I misspoke there. Instead of setting x equal to 0, as we do when we find a y-intercept, when we do an x-intercept, we set the f of x, or the y, equal to 0. So we're going to put a big 0 over here, because we want to figure out where we hit the x-axis, which would be places where y equals 0. And we'd have an equation that said 0 equals negative 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 24x. So let's begin by factoring. 0 equals negative 3x times x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then let's factor a little bit further and see that we get negative 3x. And over here we would have to get an x plus 4 and an x minus 2. Okay, so now ask yourself, what does x equal that would cause this product to become 0? Well, in one case x could be equal to 0. In this case x could be equal to negative 4. And in this case x could be equal to 2. So whatever this graph is, it's going to cross the x-axis at 0, negative 4, and 2. So it's a very rough sketch. We know it's going to cross at 0, negative 4, and 2. And it hits the y-axis also at 0, obviously. And it's a negative cubic function, so it's going to do something like this very roughly. So this information is actually quite useful. It gives us a lot of information on the graph. Let me label that as an x-intercept for those who are taking notes. Okay, so why don't you pause the video and try to do a different problem on your own here. Try to do the intercepts of 2x squared plus 4x minus 70. Okay, so assuming you paused and gave it a shot here, first let's do y-intercept. For y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. So g of 0 is 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 70. 0 plus 0 minus 70 is negative 70. So we have a y-intercept which would be located at 0 comma negative 70. Okay, x-intercept, set g of x equal to 0. So big fat 0 over there, solving 2x squared plus 4x minus 70. We need to think of two solutions that are going to make this one work. So let's try um, factoring it common number of 2 can be pulled out, so we get 0 equals 2 times x squared plus 2x minus 35. Can you all think of some numbers that add to 2 and multiply to negative 35? That would be x plus 7 and x minus 5, of course. And so our x solutions would be from here, 5, and from here, negative 7. From here we get nothing because 2 is never equal to 0. So we get x-intercepts at 5 or negative 7. So a very rough sketch of our graph would look like it goes through negative 70 on the y-axis, 5 on the x, and negative 7 on the x. So very roughly it would look something like that.